Hello and good morning and welcome to the video for this Vauxhall Corsa. I'm Neil Pinkett, the proprietor here at uh, Monkton Coombe Garage and what we're going to do is run you around this little car tell you all you need to know about it. So this is the 1.2 16 valve Ecotec 5 door Corsa Club on the O2 registration 2002, just one owner from new. So benefits from a virtually brand new MOT till March next year, done very little mileage since the previous MOT. Uh, I have driven the car for 40 miles and can say that everything runs and drives perfectly with it. The clutch is spot on. Alas, it's missing a wheel trim here, so we'll get another wheel trim for it. But uh, power steering, electric front windows, central locking on the key. Alas, the remote part doesn't work, but the central locking does work on the key. And with that wheel trim, I'm sure it's going to look a much brighter little car. A few little minor marks and scrapes here and there. Actually, I would say scrapes, but uh, the body works absolutely spot on in terms of uh, dings and dents. It's just the fact that it has a few minor chips and marks. Uh, some of the plastics also have a few little marks here and there. So it's not the cleanest one in the world, but it certainly isn't too bad at all. I'd give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10. In body work wise and drive wise, I'd give it a good 9 out of 10. It drives very, very well indeed. OK, let's run around the tyres then in a second. So we have a, a budget tyre here on the front which is virtually brand new and on the back here a tyre that is about 80-90% warm this one here is about half warm and this one here at the front I think is another relatively new one yep. OK, in the boot here, uh, baggage cover, uh, the carpet's in good nick, there is a tool roll at the back there with the appropriate jack and stuff, and there is a uh, spare wheel, a steel spare wheel, 14 inch wheel in the back there, with a decent tyre on it actually, so it's got a fair bit of tread. Again, the supplying dealer is mentioned at the back there, beasting aerial, high level brake light, rear wash wiper. Let's go and uh, have a look at that history a minute. OK, welcome to the history and documents then for this Vauxhall Corsa. Here we have the V5 showing just the one owner from new, Mr Andrew Vaughan from Beaufort. So just one registered keeper. It's the uh, Welsh Type V5, so it's over a few sections, but that doesn't make any odds to anybody. Registered 0103 2002, petrol car, 154 grams per kilometre. Uh, colour is blue. The MOT certificate is valid until March the 1st, 2013. Uh, done at 126k, 575, so not long been done. Uh, advisory item was just one item, which was oil leak, which has been rectified. It is the oil pressure switch, which I have replaced. Uh, the service book, alas, has not been very well kept up to date. Uh, I think I could just find one stamp in the book there. And... Uh, I think that was about it really yeah uh, more than likely these sort of things uh, it means that the service book's not been left for it to be stamped out and we have tried to contact the previous keeper by looking on the internet for him and alas he's not showing at the uh, address that the car was registered to but uh, they have got a timing chain so no cam belt to have to worry about, worry about. and there's the first stamp in the book at uh, 11,000 miles in 2003 so I uh, would, uh, would imagine if you look for the garage at Mid Glamorgan, the, VW, uh, sorry, the Vauxhall dealer uh, you'll probably find there's probably a few more entries to go in there but uh, what a shame but never mind it's probably it has would have had to have been serviced to pass its MOT with just that one advisory item okay let's go back to the car Right, welcome to the back of the car here then, so manual windows, again a clean tidy interior, uh, the headrests as I said were uh, out of a car with a red interior so they've just got some blue seat covers on, matches the outside, the uh, seats are in good order there as well, there's a set of four overmats, rubber overmats there, and this one has the, on both front seats, the adjustable bit there so you can move that and tip those seats right down so they may come little flat area so you can sit in the back put your feet up there's a cup holder there in the center console that seats in pretty good order actually to be fair isn't it for uh, 128k right let's jump in then and uh, start her up so electronic power steering all the engine lights go out as it should do the inspection lights on but that's no big deal a little bit of fuel in there it's got the five speed 
manual, the handbrake's good, the fan all works on all of its speed settings, the radio works, and we have the radio code for that as well. The centre console contains a clock, alas the outside temperature gauges. It's reading a minus figure all the time, it does move but it's probably a simple rectification. There is a manual sunroof here, so tilt and slide, all working well. Just, uh, slide that back as well, so nice little spec touch there. I don't think the club comes to standard with all these things actually, so we've got uh, five-speed box as I said, electric windows working fine, central locking on the key only, of which there is just one, airbag driver's side, owner's manuals and radio instruction book and key and codes for the radio etc. Washers wipers, all that usual, they all work fine, and the rear wiper all working okay. Power steering is perfectly light, it's sort of very well assisted at low speeds, so it's brilliant for parking. Uh, cigarette lighter has been used, and clutch brake and pedal rubber is all okay. In fact, the mats underneath the over mats in pretty good order. Um, the check strap on the driver's door is missing, I'm afraid that could do with rectification, but uh, again, the door closes fine. Right, well that's about it really, it's a clean tidy place and doesn't smell of any odours really in there, so that's all okay. Uh, there's no rust or corrosion on the car, a little bit of a chip, some touching you required on the door there. Uh, bumpers all the line up okay, a few little minor scratches to the front bonnet here and there, actually there's a few scratches over the bonnet. And the wing mirrors have obviously been hit and they've replaced them with some uh, second-hand ones which are in a light metallic blue but again that doesn't really notice too much but drive-wise that's a really nice little drive that uh, Corsa I could jump in that and drive that to Scotland nice and light on the clutch spot on okay thanks very much for watching and we'll speak to you soon bye bye